Looks like our crew went a little premature. Now let me know in the comments below, which is worse, going a little early or figuring it out just a little too late? Or I guess it could even be really worse where they don't figure it out at all. Now maybe our guy in the truck here thought he was a full send guy and decided he was going to send it and just sent it the wrong way, just like some of the other clips we're about to see. These jet boat guys who do these rivers like this are absolutely insane to me. I mean, my man is the definition of a full send dude here as he's trying to go against the current, get this jet boat up the river. Basically, there's a large dam here at the end of the river letting water flow down and our crews just pounding their way right into it. Now I don't know what's scarier in this situation, going against this current towards the dam or this U-turn here where you're gonna go back with the current and it's gonna push you the whole way and you're not gonna have any control. Speaking of full send, somebody definitely sent it with this trailer. We all know that guy. He always wants to come boating with us but always wants to go in early. Well, this captain found the solution to that problem. I bet this guy never asked to go again. My man wants to be a full send guy but just can't quite figure it out. How does that one go again? I think I sent her just a little too hard, bud. That's all I can think about when I see these images. The things we see in Miami and in Biscayne Bay will absolutely blow your mind. Now, obviously this one's taking on water, but heck, it even looks like the jet ski behind them is taking on water. So everything's sinking. Here they wind up with a mad scramble at the ramp. They actually do get a trailer back down the ramp and get this thing pulled out. But man, it just makes you wonder, there's gotta be a story behind this and it's gotta be one heck of a story. And maybe the jet ski is not sinking because it looks like this guy just dove in to try and get the jet ski disconnected before the pontoon sinks so it doesn't take it down with it. Looks like Cap sent her a little early before they could get the lines out of the water. This has got to be a tough job as a diver. These lines got to weigh a ton. Nothing like an enjoyable day out on the water catching some fish. One of the toughest choices you'll have in that day is whether it's going to be a keeper or you'll do a catch and release. But sometimes you won't get to make the choice and the fish will choose for you. Now, I'm not sure I'd categorize our next crew as one of those full send guys, but maybe, I mean, they are out there getting the job done. Here, they're moving a piano across a lake to a floating home on a lake in Canada. But really what I'm curious about here is what happens if another boat comes by? It just seems like this thing would fall apart and your piano would probably be in the water. My man's definitely a full send dude here. Watch as he does the hand line fishing and my man just pulls it in a little bit too quick and misses his prize. And he's definitely not happy about that one. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Googans of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your stories over here. Just like 406 Viking, Adam Kelterhouse, Chad Fisher, Josh Sloan, Marco Stratacus, and Patricia B. Wolf did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.